Okay, so if you never sold anything on StockX, I'm gonna give you like a quick rundown exactly on how this actually goes. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna piece this video together, but either way it goes, man, you'll, you'll figure it out. So let's get it, man. All right, so I had to get a box as well. So luckily enough, we had boxes up there that I could use and that fits perfectly. So let's go ahead and get it, man. Okay, so as you can see, I've already printed out both my sheets and I got my box right here. Let's pack it, man. All right, so now I actually have to put the first page in the actual box, size eight. And then my second page actually goes on top of the box, of course, right? Now, when you pack in and ship into StockX, you definitely wanna make sure you use packing material because if the box is damaged they'll send that joint right back to you I even put the bag in there yeah. I use all my tape Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate All right, man. Have a good one. All right, y'all. So I'm back at the house now. And as you can see, I had the same thing on as I did in the sixes video. So the, the pickup video. So yes, I did this all in the same day, man. So don't judge me. Like I said, I take showers. It's just, I got on the same thing. As you can see, I dropped off at UPS. Now, I actually sold these shoes for $271 on StockX, and I will show that right here, or maybe over here, wherever it is, man. I sold these for $271, and it ended up coming out to about $230-something that I would actually get. And so, StockX takes their percentage off the top. All right, so mine is a 9%, and then they add 3% on that just to transfer it to your bank. And so it's an equal amount of 12% that they take off top for my account. So that's basically how I sell on StockX. One thing I do wanna make y'all aware of is if you are getting a sneaker to sell on StockX, so say for instance, you actually want a pair on the reserve app for Saturday. Now, Friday night, you actually know that you already won this pair. One thing you need to make sure, you can be a risk taker and go ahead and hit that sale button on StockX and sell it for that price. But one thing you need to be aware of is something might happen to your pair that you go pick up the next day on Saturday. If something happens to that pair and then you don't have another pair basically to send to StockX, then you kind of asked out. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to be on the safe side, you win the pair 
and then go pick up the pair and make sure you got a good box and everything and then you post it on StockX. Now you might actually take a small hit because it might have been selling for more on that Friday than it was on release day but you know those are the chances that you take man so just be aware of those situations man. I have had a situation before where the box did not pass I guess. The shoes were authentic and everything but the box had like a hole on the lid and so they didn't pass the shoe so you know you just got to be aware of it man but that was the video on selling shoes on stock x i tried to make this really short and to the point man y'all let me know what y'all think y'all want me to do more videos like this i just know some people have never sold on stock x but they buy on stock x but i never bought on stock x i've just sold so anyway that's the video man y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section man hit that thumbs up if you like what you see leave that subscription that doesn't even make sense why did i say leave that subscribe to the channel man if you are not already part of the kicks committee with a k hit that subscribe button for your boy man hit that notification bell for your boy as well man your boy is about to get out of here right now i'm feeling like i'm saying your boy a lot man anyway with all of that being said how i look